Supporters of Dante Sharp are putting the pressure on Governor Cooper to grant him a pardon of innocence. So a judge exonerated Sharp in 2019 after being wrongly convicted of murder. CBS 17's Mackenzie Stasco was live in downtown Raleigh tonight, and Mackie had a chance to talk with Sharp today. What do you have to say about this? Yeah, well, Sharp tells me a pardon wouldn't just clear his family's name, it would give him a sense of freedom. Dante Sharp spent 26 years in prison for a murder he didn't commit. You fight all them years in prison to prove your innocence. Nobody listened to you. And then when you get it, you got to come out here. And, when you do get exonerated, if you get exonerated, you got to come out here and continue to fight. The Greenville native has been fighting for more than two years to get a pardon from the governor. Sharp supporters rallied outside Governor Cooper's office today to keep that pressure on. We're calling for the pardon of Dante Sharp immediately. Since becoming governor in 2017, Cooper has pardoned a total of seven people. A pardon would recognize Sharp's innocence, make him eligible for up to $750,000 in restitution, and entitle him to have his records destroyed. The most important part is to get the word out and to clear my family name. After camping outside the governor's office, the president of the NAACP says a member of the governor's council assured him that Sharp will be pardoned. He's going to be pardoned by the end of the year. I asked the governor's office if that's true. His press secretary didn't directly answer my question, but did say the governor plans to make decisions on Sharp's case and others by the end of the year. We're innocent. We, we shouldn't have been there in the first place. So we're not wrong for asking for exonerated, to get exonerated, to get a uh, pardon. That belongs to us. And until that happens, Sharp and his supporters are keeping the pressure on. As you can see right now, we have a few civil rights leaders camping outside of the governor's office tonight. This is the second night in a row. And tomorrow, they're going to be planning a rally outside the governor's executive mansion just a few blocks from here. Again, that's going to be happening tomorrow at 430. For now, live in downtown Raleigh, Mackenzie Stasco, CBS 17 News. All right, Mackenzie, thanks so much. Appreciate it.